Hello and welcome to the web. I'm Nick Webb, your host. And right now I'm on day four, about to go into day five of dirty, stinky hair. Okay, it's not stinky, it's not stinky. But my hair has not been washed, my body has been. And I'm going to show you what I do in between hair wash days to still try to feel cute with my hair, also try to make it not look like I haven't washed it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed. And if you have, welcome back. Now let's get some clean hair. Hey. It's me. So today is day one of obviously my hair. She is freshly washed. I've already blow dried it. In my last video, I did show you guys my little blow dry routine. But if you didn't see it, these are the two products I use. I spray generously this Shibui peptide polishing spray. It will help my hair be shiny after a blow dryer. It is heat activated. And then I use Shibui replenishing hair oil only on the ends and I blow dry that bitch. I don't really round brush. I just kind of, I just kind of dry focusing on the roots cause that's what's gonna make my hair and your hair stay cleaner longer. It's gonna keep it from being super, super oily. Making sure that the roots have not a drop of water still left in there. I have been kind of leaving my hair straight every now and then on the day one, but my usual is doing my flat iron curls. Is my Paul Mitchell smoothing iron that cost $23,000. That was my tuition for beauty school that I did drop out of. You can find that video on my page as well. I turned the heat down, heat down to 330, 340, because again, I've melted off my hair. You can also find that video. And I'm trying to let her grow out and be healthy. So low heat. I've done this tutorial on my TikTok before, but I have not done it on YouTube, I don't think. But I figured might as well bring it over here. And your hair, make sure your hair is completely dry after the blow dry, because you do not want to be boiling whatever is left in your hair. The individual strands of my hair are very thin and straight, but I have a ton of it. So I do have to do a lot of sections, but the way I do my flat iron curls, I try to do thin sections. I take it flat like this. Take my flat iron, this is how I'm holding it. Clamp it down, twist, and you see me twisting my wrist, and scoot it down. Sometimes I leave out the end, so you probably saw that I stopped just to give like a straight end look. Now because I have medium length hair, I only do a one twist and pull down. If I had longer hair, I do one twist, pull down, another twist, pull down, flat, clamp, twist, down. See these ends staying out? Let it go. If you want it like curly curly, you can just keep pulling it down all the way. I'm gonna be honest, the back of my head is none of my business or is it none of yours? Now because I'm switching with my other hand, but it's the same thing. Clamp, twist, pull, let go, and when it's hot, I do a little twist so that they can cool. Now, because I like the messy look, I do also alternate with the thinness versus the thickness of my sections, but I don't take it too thick. So this next section, I am gonna get a little bit thicker than that first section. The front sections do look thinner, but once I get to the back, it's going to be a much thicker section. It's just this part of my head is so, there's not a lot of hair. You could see my hairline also like swoops in. But already, I don't know if it looks it, but I feel that this is a six, thicker section than what I did down here. What would I consider too thick of a section? I would consider this too thick of a section because I can clearly split it evenly into two. So I would not do these two together unless you're wanting a very, very, very loose curl. For the final section, I do my bangs ever so slightly different, not even like by that much, but I like a looser wave for my bangs. So I section out my bangs. Everything else is back to being the normal way, which is kind of more of a tighter curl. Section my bangs. Same formation, but instead of, I turn as I go.
or just kind of a loose I don't know if that made sense. Now I take a mirror and I try to check the back to make sure there's no straight pieces. We're good. Let's let it cool for about maybe 30 seconds. You take your fingers and you zhuzh and you brush it out. I take hairspray because I like it a little bit more messy and I grab up, spray, grab up, spray. And this is day one. We are on day two hair and I spent the morning at the gym. Then I showered and so this is after shower, which is unfortunate because wearing this will make my hair kind of look funky. So I do my best to make it look presentable for the day. There are one or two things that I do on day two, day three hair wash. And that is one brand, my queen Batiste. Love her, if you can't tell. For the gym, I do like to use their new, not sponsored, new sweat activated dry shampoo and you just spray it in before and it's supposed to release fragrance as you sweat and all of that. But I think it's important to do before the gym because that's where I'm a sweaty girl. Or before bed, I will spray a little bit of this so that overnight it can absorb the oils. I do think they have like a nighttime one. I just haven't tried it yet. I forgot to do it last night. I did forget to do this at the gym today, so we're gonna be using this. Let's see what we're working with. At the, oh, whoa. At the gym, I do a claw clip because I'm not trying to throw it in a bun or a ponytail and like trying to maintain the curls I had as much as possible, but we're not doing too hot today. And I do brush out, even if I didn't go to the gym and I had just curled my hair yesterday, I brush it out, leave it for just some loose curls, but it looks like the shower kind of ruined some of that around the hairline because that's where it tends to get the most oily top of the head and i'm gonna let that absorb while we talk game plan for the day because there's a few options that i can be doing i can add more heat to my hair touch it up with some flat iron curls not against that don't think i'm going to do that today because it is raining i can style it more than likely not to be boring i think i'm just gonna throw it back in a claw clip i'm in cozy clothes today it's raining it's just an editing day for me rub this out i will say it's an unfortunate time that i am deciding to do this video because if it hadn't been raining the last few days the curls would have held up a little bit better but it's fine quite honestly me personally i would literally go out with my hair just kind of looking like this i like a little bit of the messy look a little fluffy whatever but it's definitely not polished if i was grabbing like drinks with my friends or something or grabbing coffee i would just have my hair like this it's fine but for the sake of today i am going to throw it back in a claw clip i know that's boring but i'm literally just gonna be at my computer all day and it's raining plus if i end up doing something tonight i can take out my claw clip either run some more flat iron curls mainly on this side i don't know why maybe because i sleep on this side this side always falls more flat and loses the curls a lot more. I'm always touching up this side, usually not this side. But if I were to be touching it up right now, I would just scrunch a little hairspray. I'll do it right now just to show you. I would do this. Just kind of bring some of it back to life. Yeah, see? I would kind of do that. I would have to touch up a couple curls. It's always this side of my hair. Do a little zhuzh hairspray. Take this a little bit, pinch it a little forward. And I would go out and about like this, pull out the slut strands. And since again, I love messy hair looks, I even pull out little pieces back here. I just love a good claw clip moment. I'm so glad we made these like in style. And this is my day two, just kind of chilling at home, especially cause it's raining. We are officially on day three hair. And if I'm honest, my hair actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. I think when I tend to throw it up in a claw clip, I touch my hair less. That helps it not be as greasy, but we got a little, little bit going on, so we're gonna do a little bit of dry shampoo. I will say when I get to this point with like a couple days of dry shampoo in my hair, the ends tend to get dry. So I'll either throw some of my Shibui hair oil on my ends if I'm wanting to wear it down, but I think with my outfit today, I wanna style it a little bit. This is my outfit for the day, and I'm just heading to a coffee shop to get some work done, and then I have to go shopping 
for redoing my room, which is a series I'm doing on TikTok. I will say the volume from the dry shampoo, we love her. Now when I do these in-between styles on dirty hair, my main priority is to obviously have my hair look good, but also try to do hairstyles that aren't causing more like breakage and damage to my hair. If I get a wild hair up my ass, I'll do a messy bun. I'm even trying to stray away from the slicked back low bun because I've heard that like that can cause and pull the tension and things like that. Now I know everything when it comes to hair can just be damaging. You can just look at hair and it's gonna be like cracked. It's fine, it's whatever. I'm just trying to do the least amount of damage. Sometimes I will do these little baby space buns and I'll just do little pigtails, a black elastic. I think I got like a pack of like 500 from Amazon and it's lasted me forever. I'll do a little ponytail and then I'll, I don't know if you can see, try to just messily put it into a little bun and then I'll play with it. Wait, is this style super cute? Am, am I feeling the little space buns today? <laughs> just said I don't want to do damaging hairs, hairstyles. So a little ponytail once through and then I'm just grabbing it and bunching it as I wrap it two more times. And then I have these little low space buns. I personally think space buns should always stay in the mix. I think they're so cute, especially if I were to throw on a beanie today. Wait, wait, I want to show you guys other hairstyles, but why did this come out so perfect? Wait, <laughs> oh my God, wait, wait. I was going to show you guys like other hairstyles, but this is so perfect. Like I don't want to touch it. <gasps> I, oh my god, okay, well, I can't touch it. I literally can't touch it. Okay, so this is day three's hairstyle. I literally don't want to mess it up. Like, it came out perfect. I can't try to recreate this. I feel like it won't happen. What does the back look like? I'm scared. I'm scared. Did it look bad? No, because I feel so cute, and then, and I feel really cute with this hair. Tomorrow, though, because I really think we can stretch this out until day four, Tomorrow I will show you like greasy, greasy hair style. Hopefully styles, unless I just whip out some magic like this again. Ladies, we have run into an issue. We have run into an issue and I feel like I jinxed it yesterday. Yesterday I was like, I'm just gonna do these low little space buns. I'm not going anywhere, it's fine. My friend wanted to meet up for drinks. I changed my outfit and the outfit did not vibe with the space buns and I was like panicking, I had no time. No idea what to do with my hair and what did I do? I threw it in a cock clip and what did I tell you? That I, like, I wanted more thing. I don't want to always just throw my hair in a cock clip. I'm trying to, like, find ways to cutely style. And this was the whole point of this video. Is like, here's some cute ways. I failed you guys. I failed you. So, our next journey, not today, our next journey is to continue to find hairstyles to do in between wash days. Because this is ridiculous. I will say, I don't know if it's because I switched my shampoo. Maybe. My hair is just not getting as greasy as it normally does. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. Definitely, today is definitely the last day I'm going to push it. Tomorrow, we're washing our hair. Since it is the last day of me having my dirty hair, the ends do just get a little dry, I think, just because I'm throwing a ton of dry shampoo in it. I'm going to take my oil. I'm going to run a drop through kind of the ends while my hair is soaking up the other oil on the top of my head. So really just try to focus it on the ends. Now in the past, I was using my final like dirty hair day as doing a slick back bun because I already had the oils in my hair to slick it back. Um, but we're not doing that anymore because I know that having a tight hairstyle like that is just causing too much tension. I started doing this last week. I think I am gonna just keep incorporating it until like I find other hairstyles to do. What do we even think? Why does this kind of look cute? We're not leaving it down. Just doing little pigtail braids because I also think those should be back in style. I don't know if they're like technically out of style. I feel like we're getting to a point where like what is in style, what's not is just kind of irrelevant because you know what? You know what I want to talk about? Why aren't messy buns more apparent? Why are we doing the low slick back? Bring me back a messy bun. I know people are doing it, especially because Pamela Anderson like was like, I actually used a G string. We're all trying to be Pamela Anderson. Bring back the messy bun is our casual day. Bring it back. Bring it back. Because I finally, like, I perf I spent years perfecting my messy bun. This is my messy bun campaign. I spent years perfecting my messy bun. And I have perfected it. 
but nobody is doing messy buns anymore. Like to the extent that I feel like we should be. If it's a casual shopping day, we're doing the slick back bun, which is cute. And I know like a messy bun does like kind of cause a lot of breakage, like I get it, but bring it back. Bring back the messy buns. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start messy buns all the time. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it for 14 year old me who spent hours on YouTube tutorials trying to have just the perfect messy bun that was like Pinterest worthy. That was what was, what was the memes? Oh my God, what were they? And they were like the Tumblr quotes. It was like girl quotes or teen quotes or something. And it'd be like a picture of this like Tumblr girl and then like this random quote, like nothing like a day in an oversized sweater and a messy bun. And it was like, everybody was reblogging and reposting. Cause like, yeah, same. I want to be her. Anyways, back to this regularly scheduled program. We're doing two little braids. Now, do you need me to teach you how to do a braid? I can teach you a few things. I can teach you a lot of things. I don't know if I can teach you how to braid. I think I can, all I can just say is do it. Just do it. Also, YouTube's been around for so long that there's so many braid tutorials. I don't know if I'm the teacher for you. Oh my God, okay, I'll try. Three strands as kind of equal density as possible. One hand, one hand. And I have my little like two fingers like this clamped with my thumb. Take this one, throw it into my little, I don't know, claw. Take the bottom, the loose, pull it over and throw this down. A little claw here again and do that. Kind of pull it a little tight. Claw. And I'm holding this with the little two fingers. Okay. And then like, as I get fast, you get like your fingers closer together. And that was probably the worst braid tutorial you've ever seen. I did my best. You know what? Find somebody else's YouTube video on how to braid. I did my best, okay? I'm gonna be so for real with you right now. I did not look in a mirror while I was braiding. So cool. And then, as always, pancake your braid. You just kind of pull it out. Slut strands out, always. If I'm going anywhere today, I'm throwing on a cute beanie with these little braids. Or honestly, these little braids, they're just so cute. They're so cute. Do we want to see the back? None of your business how that looks. All right. Man, I really like slayed with these braids today. Okay, every time I need to do my hair, I guess I need to record it for you guys because they come out perfect first try. So this will be my hairstyle for the rest of the day. Tomorrow is hair washing day. This is also perfect if I end up going to the gym. It's kind of out of my face. You could also do a hair treatment this day. Like I love putting in a mask in my hair and then braiding it, but I'm just not doing that today. I know none of this was like revolutionary for you, but here's the deal. Not everything has to be revolutionary. Some things are just... Oh my goodness, why didn't I think of doing two braids on my final day of hair washing? Because it's that easy. Like, I know people who try to not wash their hair every day. They're like, I just don't know what I would do with my hair. Sometimes it is that simple. Sometimes it's just a spritz of dry shampoo and a quick braid. Anyways. Oh my god. Sorry. Forgot you were there. Sorry. So I went four days without washing my hair. Tomorrow will be day five. I will wash my hair on day five. I hope any of this gave you any little bit of ideas, but our next journey, you and I, we're gonna start searching for new hairstyles for those in-between days. These are my quick go-tos, but clearly I need to up my game. And I'm sorry you had to see me at my low point, but together we grow, together we grow. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Comment any hairstyles that you do in between hair washing days. Maybe give me ideas. Comment any hairstyles you want me to try if you have any questions. Don't ask me for a braid tutorial. I did my best, okay? But I will see you guys next week. Love you, bye.